So Morgin for people that haven't seen it is uh, what you might describe as a chocolate box Swiss village and nestled into a small valley which is uh, great for skiing. So there are two chairlifts in the village, just go up different mountains and it's like the shortest walk there. It's pretty much as if I lived on the slopes. Just wake up here, look out the window, check the temperature, check the weather and just go out and have fun. So I first came here in 1997 on a ski instructor exchange from Coronet Peak Ski School. Blake came here on the first season, 1997-1998. Oh, it was a lot of, he had a lot of fun as a three-year-old when he was here because there was a good group of friends that he met at a young age. Jenna was one of those girls. So Jenna started to ski like most of our kids here when she was in her twos. She first went on her skis in the garden. By the end of the season, she was skiing down the Blue Runs easily by herself. They were both quite competitive uh, as they were both starting to go into the ski racing. So even uh, as uh, recreational skiers, they were quite competitive. Who's in the front? Who's in the back? Look at me, I'm doing this. You're doing that. Well, I can do a bigger jump. And that started at uh, quite a young age. Both of them were so keen to ski and so enthusiastic, they loved getting out there. Yeah, so skiing and the winter experience brought us together. Jenna and Blake formed a very good friendship. Free rider, Blake Marshall. No Cross grab king. Inside my own fate I'm telling you that I ain't Over exaggerating Help me, I'm in a state I can't get out of this place I try to keep up the pace So New Zealand's home for me in Queenstown So I work there working as a ski coach in the winters and then I've been coming here to Switzerland working as a ski instructor when I was younger. Now I've transitioned into skiing professionally, doing competitions and stuff like that. I've been coming here in Morgin since I was a little kid, so this is basically my second home. So when I went to university in Christchurch, I wouldn't come to Morgin as often. So I'd only come here to see family during Christmas and I wasn't spending as much time as when I was younger here. At the top, ready to drop. He's a local Queenstown at Blake. He's dropping in switch. What? When I was at university, we used to go to the club fields and it was just all free ride. I saw a couple of my mates doing competitions and they were really good at it. I just gave it a go a couple of times in, in Queenstown and did really well. And, and then from there, gained a bit of sponsorship. That kind of created a pathway for free ride for me. For nothing. You're 2018. Oh, right I've been stuck inside. A fractured frame of mind. Can't see the sense in this. Mess of bombs and all the lies. There's something better for me. Or better destiny. No baggage on the board. There's something better for me. 
I chose skiing because obviously I grew up here and I started ski instructing when I was 16 to earn pocket money. I did my qualifications and really enjoyed them. And just as it went on and on, just the more I learned and the more I skied, the more hooked I was and the more I wanted to do it. It was just like obvious. I discovered freeride quite late. I was aware it existed because we had some freeride comps here in Morjan, but I just didn't realise it would be something that I would be interested in just because at that time I was skiing off piece with my friends and didn't really think about it that much. And then Blake competed and qualified for the tour and that kind of brought my attention to freeride skiing. Getting Jenna into freeride was, was fun because she's such a good skier and growing up with her skiing she was, she's always been super good on the piste and, and racing and technical skiing and stuff. So I really wanted her to get into freeride when I got in because I knew she would be good from the get-go. I'm not trying to oversell my industry but I think you can see the value in ski instructing here because this is incredibly solid technique. And allows... uh, she ended up winning her first competition when I was there after I convinced her to do it and um, she was pretty stoked after that. Yeah, I was stoked. <laughs> it was a good night. It's a really difficult terrain. It's going to be a double out. Wow, Beautiful. what a nice Very double. Well Below her is a huge cliff with about 50 meters. And so another think, double. Wow. wow, she is showing what's possible here. On I knew I was as good as him. <laughs> so I just, I was like, I'll give it a try and it went well. And that's when I kind of realized I could do this. And she gets the hugs, she gets the party and the girls are loving her run. Show in the Super Bowl 79 even for Blake Marshall. Good enough for sixth place so far. Is it going to be enough? This is where we're going to see the heartbreak line. The heartbreak hotel for one of the Kiwis. So Blake Marshall is on the shy side of the... It was tough falling off the tour because I'd been there for three years and um, it was really good fun and I'd, I'd created good relationships with, with a lot of people on there. So it was um, tough coming off and seeing them continue on and, and I had to go do other things, but it was just kind of thinking, what can I do next? So going back onto the qualifier circuit meant that I'd come back to Morgin, reunite with Jenna again and we could go out and ski free ride and train together and, and prepare for comps together as we were doing the same one, so, so that was really good motivation. It was really fun having Blake uh, back on the circuit because for starters he was like a coach to me. I would go up to him and ask what type of line I should pick. Yeah, when we're at comps together, we're, we're definitely helping each other out and um, seeing what lines work for each other because we know each other skiing so well. We could just share the stress, the doubt, uh, but also the fun around the competition. It was just good to have someone reminding you that you're capable and it's just going to help with your confidence. <laughs> Now that we're both um, free ride skiing and competing together, we're definitely pushing each other in the sport, which is amazing. How you feeling? Yeah, I reckon. I just probably had the worst crash you could have and I was sweet. Okay, drop it! It 
can be slightly frustrating because it's just like this little brother who's always, you know, you'll go and land your first ever double backflip and then he'll do a double backflip and it looks better than yours. Classic. Um, but in a sense, it's what pushes me, so I'm not complaining. Yeah, I guess now when I come back, I've, I'm spending more time in Morja. So I'm spending most of the winter here now, which is very similar to what I used to do back in the day when I was, when me and Jenna were five years old, we used to spend most of the winter here skiing around and ski club and ski racing. So now that's kind of what we're doing now is we're just skiing together and except now it's free ride. You know, it's where we started to ski together. It's where we both love skiing and it's where we share all the fun. So it's really special that we can keep skiing here like we did when we were like five years old. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I think this place and skiing has helped us reconnect and it feels kind of like the old days again. Morja, this place where we grew up skiing together and getting into freeriding are the things that made us reconnect.